Peace and blessings. I want to talk about rude people, mean people, trifling people, like grown up bullies, basically. And a beautiful message that I received in regards to dealing with problematic people. Unfortunately, they exist and they're probably not going to go anywhere because they're just not, right? It requires self awareness and self acceptance and reflection in order for someone to look at themselves and say I am being a problem so I am very familiar with these types of people they're the ones who poke the bear and then get mad when the bear bites back and it's very unfortunate because there are so many of these people in the world whether you call them narcissists um, or you know whatever label you want to place on them they come in all shapes sizes and flavors and i realize in dealing with these types of people they thrive off of chaos and they also thrive off of you being stressed overwhelmed you driving yourself crazy trying to figure out is it you did you do something wrong like all of that they thrive off of it and then when you call them on it, when you finally do say something, they project, they blame you, and they don't focus on anything. They don't hear anything that you say. So I am currently dealing with someone like this, and it is absolutely infuriating because there is a lot of gaslighting, passive aggressive behavior dismissal of statements that and convert like it's just it's fucking bewildering so one of the things that I like to do for my peace of mind is like meditation I use different tools uh, for guidance and so I pulled a card and because it was on the bottom of the deck I wanted to share it with you this is the Biblical Tarot. It is a deck that I absolutely cherish. Um, it's a fairly new deck to my collection, but the card that came up when I was talking about how to handle, how to deal with these types of people was the Knight of Candles. And as you can see, he is charging off full steam ahead, um, sword in hand. And I really, really love this because it's really like don't back down so when you think about the knight of wands or the knight of candles this is a card that is about pure action it is moving with spirit it is moving with energy and it's not thinking things through i'm not saying go upside nobody's head <laughs> that's not what this is about but this is saying not to let those motherfuckers knock you off your square not to let their like my bestie calls it their crazy making make you crazy you let them sit in stupid there was um a quote a proverb if you will that said when you argue with a fool you wind up looking foolish so you have to leave those people alone and this is where people have me fucked up at right when you have people who are loud when you have the bullies the narcissists the users the takers the inconsiderate people i'm a quiet person and i'm a very kind and nice warm like loving person right i know this about myself other people can reflect that to me when you are around um these types of people they will take and take and take and take and keep pushing you to the point of you saying something. And because you're quiet or you're kind or you're nice, um, you're a peacemaker, you saying anything that doesn't align with niceness. And again, I'm not saying you have to cuss anybody out, but when you start to assert yourself and set boundaries, they're going to take offense and call you hostile. They're gonna say, oh, you're being angry or you're frustrated when all you're doing is standing up for yourself because the times when you maybe were nice or trying to politely ask for you know, modifications of behavior or adjustments, they pretended not to hear you. 
So then you speak a little bit louder and all of a sudden now you're the problem because you will no longer tolerate their bullshit or their abuse. So this card, um, Knight of Candles, is all about moving forward. It is about, number one, it's not backing down and it's not allowing other people to knock you off your square. It's you keeping your focus on what it is that you need to do for yourself and really redirecting your energy. Sometimes when we get in these situations where, you know, we're trying to figure out like, did I do something wrong or did this really happen? And because the gaslighting and all the bullshit that comes along with fuck people, it makes you overthink. It can bring up anxiety. It can make you angry. It can disturb your emotions um, to the point that you're not really focused, that you're not operating the way that you would normally operate. So this card is like, no, don't let those um, outside influences disturb your spirit. So this card correlates with Joshua 1 and 9. And I actually sat and I read through that chapter and there were so many very like key points about that particular scripture um, that really resonated for this particular situation, which is one of the reasons why I really like this deck is that the, the Bible verses that are um, aligned with the cards, are tr they, they truly support the meaning of the card. So the way like, that's another conversation, but it's it's just a very beautiful way of working with bibliomancy um, in just a deeper way. And so it says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will, will be with you wherever you go. And it's like when you know that God is on your side, that spirit has your back, it doesn't matter who is in front of you. It doesn't matter what anybody is saying or doing. Like you move differently, you walk differently. So this is saying that, and there's so many different layers of this, right? Because there's the layer where, you know, sometimes we are tested in life to see how are we gonna respond? Did we learn the lesson? Are we going to, you know, maybe you don't speak up for yourself. So are you going to speak up for yourself? How are you gonna handle this situation differently from maybe all the times that you didn't stand up for yourself or assert yourself? And it's really saying, like, spirit is like, we got you. Like, I am here. Can't nobody do nothing to you. You're in the right. Move forward with with courage, boldly, bravely, and proudly. Because when God is with you, who can be against you? And I use the word God in a holistic manner. You can insert whatever, you know, your belief system is, whether it's the divine source, goddess, great mother, whatever you know deity you prefer it's just like when you know that you are surrounded by giants by your ancestors by your spirit by your spirit team nothing else in the 3d matters also when we are on the precipice of manifesting greatness there will be contrast there will be um static there will be tests there will be challenges that could keep you stuck that could prevent you from manifesting the thing that you desire so it's really important that we don't let these mundane things these mundane people take us out of alignment because when that happens then you spend time trying to like get back so it's very important now to use whatever tools whatever resources that you have to lean on for your holistic well-being for your mental, your physical, your spiritual, your finance, for all the well-being. It's very important that we are truly taking care of ourselves because spiritual warfare is real. There's so much going on around us in the world today. Um, there's a lot happening energetically. There's a lot happening within you, in your personal life. So it's of the utmost importance to really take care of yourself so that when you have these situations that pop up with people, you can stand in your assertiveness, you can stand in your power, you can stand in your sovereignty and not allow people to dis, you know, to play in your face or to sway you from what it is you know is right and true. So I hope that this message has touched somebody. Initially, I was gonna get up here and just um, talk about a few things, but I really wanted to share this message just because, you know, 
there are some very unhinged people in this world and it doesn't matter their educational background, their profession, how they talk, walk, dress, like none of those things matter. People are unhinged and vindictive and it is an unfortunate truth, but it is just another reason why we truly need to guard our hearts and our minds and be mindful of who we are connecting with on all levels because everybody does not have your best intentions at heart. And so it's important to be patient, to use your discernment, um, and to make sure that you're acting in integrity and that you are making choices that are really and truly in alignment with who you are, what you desire, and where you desire to go in life. So thank you for tuning in. I'm Giovanna Tisdale, the Sacred Wellness Alchemist. I am a holistic healing practitioner, a licensed massage therapist, energy healer, spiritual coach, intuitive tarot reader, a doer of all things. And you know, I'm just here to help you live abundantly ever after so that you can release pain, release trauma, balance out your mind, your emotions, and you know, experience a blissful life because we do not have to struggle in life we do not have to deal with trifling people and their bs we don't have to live in the struggle and i just really want to use my gifts to help others overcome um overcome trauma stress and strife all right i love you if you want to learn more about what it is that i do i am making updates to my website it's theculturespa.com where you can see all of the things that i offer um, I do have a physical location, but also do work with clients virtually. So if you are interested in a reading, energy healing session, or something else, I am here. Tap in. I would love to support you. Peace.